Right, good morning. I don't actually know if it is technically still the morning, but welcome to another event vlog and to a brand new venue for us. We're here at Hazelton Manor, which is not a B venue. It's a Cotswold Cup competition, which we haven't done before. As you can tell, I'm here with Star, who has spotted the cross country in the distance already, which is maybe not a good thing. We're here to do the 100, having done the 90 at Oxford last week, so fingers crossed for a good day. We have a moment to uh, question the way that mum does her sets. Okay, so we're all ready to go and we are actually doing things a little bit differently today because we have a really big gap between my dressage and show jumping time. So we haven't walked the course today before, we haven't walked the course before dressage. We're gonna fit that in between phases, which I'm sure is going to cause mum a lot of stress because she's gonna panic that two hours is not enough time. <laughs> but hopefully it will be. The other thing of note is that the Cotswold Cup don't use British eventing dressage tests, they use their own tests and they tried to make them a bit different and where last week's test at Star's first the season at Oxstalls was very much to his liking with the walk work at the end and very slow and gradual. This test is thick and fast, it's got lots of movements, lots of transitions, walk right at the start which historically isn't, he sort of overthinks and then gets a bit excited so we're gonna have to see how it goes. It could be an interesting one. If we can keep it together, I'll be very happy. Right, let's do a dressage test voiceover and I actually think there's a few things to unpack here. The first being that this test now is about three weeks old. As I mentioned somewhere in the vlog, I went to this event and then two and a half days later I had my 11,000 word dissertation due in. So I went to this event and then basically almost forgot about it and was very much in uni mode and so I've actually not watched this test back yet at all. So I'm very intrigued to see what I make of it because something very interesting happens at the end of this test. So far we've got a 6.5 for our centre line and then a 7 for our 15 metre circle. The other thing is that Cotswold Cup tests don't use BE dressage tests and I found this particular bit that I'm doing now badly, I think we get a 6 for that transition because it wasn't on the centre line, um, I found this test really hard to learn for whatever reason and usually if I'm struggling with a test, like a BE novice test, I will go and watch it on YouTube but because it's a fairly new Cotswold Cup test I couldn't watch it and I didn't have the chance to practice it at home because our fields were just completely waterlogged. So 
It felt like a little bit of a whim and a prayer. I really like to practice my tests, especially on Star, just to see how he's gonna find the movements. So this was a little bit of a, a trailblazing test, but we got a 6.5 for our second half 10 meter circle, and then a 6.5 for that transition to walk. In the warm up, things were a little bit not how I would have liked them because Star can sometimes get a little bit tense. We could see the cross country from the warm up. So I wanted to get down there and crack on, but the dressage was running a little bit behind. So we ended up having a lot of waiting around, which can sometimes fry his brain a little bit. So I was actually quite pleased that he was holding himself together between the whiteboards. We all know that, especially at the start of the season, Star can find it really exciting. And he was a good boy at Oxtals and actually Actually, although you know I'm watching this already and I'm saying there needs to be more activity I need to push him and take a little bit more of those risks I was pleased that he kept it together and was nice and calm we got a 6.5 for our transition to canter with the comment that it needs more energy and then a 7 for the canter around the outside and now that is totally fair enough I didn't canter in the warm-up because that is one of our keys with star sometimes once he's cantered for the first time if he's a bit tense that is like the moment that sparks the excitement so I made the executive decision to not canter at all in the warm-up and actually I'm pleased with that decision but yeah we possibly threw away a little bit of a mark with our first transition to canter because it maybe took him by surprise for a little bit then we had this movement again that I wasn't particularly good at with the two half 10 meter circles and then that was very sideways <laughs> that was not good I hadn't seen that um that was a, a six which was you know, possibly quite generous and then a 6.5 the second half of that circle I remember thinking that our second canter felt really good and we got a seven for our transition and then a seven for our sort of canter down here and then at the end we'll pop in a 20 meter circle which we also got a seven for and yeah this canter I, I thought felt really nice so I just need to ask a little bit more of him I need to stop worrying that he's going to tense up because actually you know he's not a baby there's no reason why he should yeah, I like this counter. Nice to watch. And then we are going to come down at the centre line in a second. We got a 6.5 for that, and that was the same mark that included the halt in. Our collectives were a 7 for his paces, and then a 6.5 for impulsion, submission, and my position. But as you will see, something a lot more interesting happened at the end. Oh, well done, Star. Fix that halt for a second. Did it like it was going to go wrong? So I was walking away thinking that I was quite pleased with that test. And as you can see, the judge's door opens. <laughs> and I'm going to talk about this and do a little sort of debrief, I think, when I get off. But usually when the judge wants to speak to you, you, you think you've either done a very, very good test or something very badly wrong. <laughs> and I didn't think I'd done an amazing test, so I was panicking a little bit, wasn't sure what she was going to say. Anyway, I will leave it to Future Flow to explain, but I just thought I would show you. And she was very sweet and lovely. Mum's having a little lunch break. You can get that table out. Oh, it's all go, go, go. There you go. Thank you very much. And the water. Oh, blimey. That's lovely. And the napkin. <laughs> okay, nothing else. <laughs> Okay, right, let's have a little dressage test debrief because you will have seen that spoke to the judge at the end which usually means things either went very, very well or very, very not well. And I can tell you, it's not very, very well. <laughs> um, let's go back to the warm-up. The warm-up, I felt like it could go either way. I don't know whether the footage will really show it, but from the warm-up, you had a really clear view of the cross country so when i was trying to get star walking around he was constantly like diverting his attention off to the cross country looking and not really focusing so i thought this could really go badly and when we got down there they were running behind so we stood for a while and just let him chill because once he warms up he really benefits from just going and 
I don't know how that sort of impacted it. Like we wouldn't normally keep Star stood still because he, the longer he has to just think about things, the more he kind of like, I guess, tenses. So I was pleased in a way with where we got him by the end of the warm up, but I still felt a little bit like it could go wrong at any minute. When we were trotting around the outside of the arena, I was just thinking, please ring the bell and let us start. Did the test. There were good bits, there were not so good bits. Like I said, it was thick and fast and I felt like some of those little half 10 metre circles to the transitions to the other half 10 metre circles, he was a little bit not listening, a little bit like drifty. And then I thought that towards the end he settled. I was really pleased with our last canter, so I will see if that's reflected in the marks. But after the test, the judge came and spoke to me. You are shaking the camera with your cutting up of the feed. Oh, the judge came and spoke to me and basically just said, do you know that in the trot work you are leaning off to one side and she felt that, that was making him fall in she's like i don't know whether that's you the saddle the horse don't know so i've never had that comment before and i wonder if it was where i was like a little bit tense because i felt like things were potentially on the edge of going a bit awry so i was very much kind of trying to hold it all together was i leaning because he was falling out? i don't know i haven't seen the footage so i'm sure i will be able to give you more of a kind of rundown of my thoughts in the actual dressage test voiceover but she said as well if you can fix that your marks will come right down so that kind of implies that it's not going to be a very good mark but we're not going to dwell on it we are going to go and walk the cross country and see what we make of that <laughs> Someone was trying to erase their mistake before I could call it out on the vlog, but luckily I already had footage from earlier. What's Someone, the <laughs> I've got it. Nothing to see here. Someone had written the wrong show jumping time I'm on quick, the board. Okay, with my left hand. And would have given it. Show. Would have <laughs> given. <laughs> would have given us ten less minutes. Oh, now we're at. Um, this is the conversation I already had on the vlog. Now our time is. 4z0 because you do your z's and your threes the exact same no, way it's really the, weird I was leaning up with my left hand really weird how, no how you do your z's that's oh, not that's, normal oh that's that's the classy way isn't it anyway the correct times are now on there so we've lost 10 minutes so okay. mum is going to finish her lunch, lunch and then we're gonna go oh scores in we can talk about because like we just saw my scores in mm -hmm. um so given that she heavily made me feel dread um, she? The, lovely the lovely judge the lovely judge she had an American accent it was very nice yeah given the fact that she made me worry because I feel like it's not usually a good sign if you get spoken to at the end unless it's to tell you how fabulous you are I was thinking it could be quite a bad score so I would take the 34.5 that we've been given and the implication is that if I hadn't been leaning off so much it could have been a lot better than that so that's good um, time to review the footage and see yeah whether I think I'm leaning off a lot Got a fun little combination from here. Go around. Yeah. We're both just chilling. Both just chilling, nice and peaceful. We're about to go show jumping, and I haven't spoken to you since you walked the course, the cross country course. I don't say I have a lot of thoughts. I think on the whole, it's quite nice. It's quite flat. A lot longer than Oxtals last week, almost a minute longer, so good job that Star can run for days. A uh, couple of big fences, but on the whole, it's probably fair. <laughs> oh, Anyway, we're going to go and show jump now, and it's not our ideal scenario. We'll have to go down there and then get off and walk the course, because they haven't run any hunkers yet, and we're right at the start. So we're going to go and do that. Oh, Star says stop talking and take me down to the show jumping immediately.
super. Okay, I hope you get about to hear me for show jumping. It's all done and I feel like I I'm always the first to be like, oh, I didn't like that round, could have ridden better. So I'm just gonna say it. That round felt epic. I was so pleased with how he went. I was pleased with how I rode it. We had a really good, <laughs> this always happens when we try and do group. We had a really good lesson with Kylie Roddy a few days ago, which she got me jumping a lot more forward. And I felt like that really came across in that show jumping and the warm up, the actual round, like it all just felt really good really easy and I'm notoriously bad when it comes to show jumping warm-ups I don't like the places so yeah really happy with that and hoping to continue that energy on into the cross country Cross country done, and the good news is it's another clear to add to the record, which is really good. The bad news is somebody was a little bit excitable. I was really worried last week at Oxford that he was going to be crazy and wild, and he was good as gold, but he was not today. Basically, as soon as he got in the cross country warm up, he couldn't stand still. He was doing his little bunny hops, he was spinning around, he was trying to canter. So, a couple of different occasions, I let him go, let him jump a couple of fences and then maybe I'd get 30 seconds of him walking calmly but it meant that he warmed up a lot more than I wanted him to and that by the time we left the start box he's already white with sweat and just really really worked up and that basically I thought we were going to get it together over the first two actually he left the start block, he left the right but the longer we went out the stronger he was getting so I ended up having to just sort of get him to calm down if he had a chance to open up on an open stretch, he was just going. And it's a shame because he gave me a, a lovely feel at some of the jumps, but I wasn't out of that nice forward canter I wanted to be at. So it was nowhere near as nice as last week. Um, and I think we probably came home with, I don't know, probably 20 quad seconds slow, which is not where we want to be at 100. Um, so that's disappointing. He was up a gear in the show jumping, and obviously I was so pleased with how he felt but then he went up another gear the cross country um, and as you can still see he's, uh, he's up a gear now so yeah I don't really know what to say about that it's a bit disappointing um, but I'm glad that we're clear on the whole that's the main thing very disappointed that unfortunately the, clo the uh, food stand was closed when we went to get dinner so we've had to take matters into our own hands and stop off on the way back there you go so I am wrapping the vlog up with a lorry which I don't usually do however as you can probably tell from the light it's going dark it's going to be dark by the time we get home 
no placings today obviously the time was a little bit disappointing but all in all there is a lot of positives to take away the boys have now between them had three runs this year they've had three double clears and we're getting the sort of MERs we need for things like pony club championships that we potentially want to do so it's all it's all very good stuff <laughs> So yeah, I don't really feel like there's too much more to say than that. I obviously gave you all my thoughts post cross country. Oh, there is something else to say. Like I had obviously said I thought Star was up a gear from normal and then right after I turned off the camera and we tied him up to the lorry, he then took himself off for a tour of the lorry park um, by himself unaided. So he was up a gear today. Not exactly sure why or what's going on, but hopefully it's just a one off. I probably won't be eventing for a little while now I've got final year university deadlines my dissertation is due in in literally like 72 hours I've got exams so I'll keep you in the loop I'm sure it won't be that long but yeah quiet couple of weeks I'd imagine and I'll see you guys sometime to do something don't know what by the moon bye